Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Testing, testing! Hello, Ella! Can we have a hug? You did all. Have you dreamt of bistik in mat? I did all I could, yeah, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Retreat. Eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Run away, run away, and save your life. Run away. What's over there? Hey, do. Menace 1 5. The advent network is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Get to that terminal. I'll take a look. Successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Throw on the hook! It amazes that no one ever questioned how these factories work. Meat comes out, but you don't see any livestock going in, do you? Ja, det är bara kuta allt vad du har din lilla bäver för att kommit tokt annars. Nah, I guess that'll be okay. Jag din medic här då. Check 
och så lär jag ju sig med henne då. One. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Shadow Chamber. Jag tänkte att de... Ja, ah, okej. Okay. Oh, Shadow Här har vi Power Relay. Jag måste göra en Power Relay till. Physically, the Advent Shield Bearers are quite similar to the bulk of Advent's forces, and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice, nice. 
börjar vi med det här göttiga. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. Chamber now operational. Ah. Uh -huh. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber. I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. Objective acquired. 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 Objective we can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the codex artifact recovered by our forces. Okay, here. Codex brain. Obviously. Oh. Sure, for the next level, do. It'll be good. Mimic beacon, can't you? Tygen seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. I wonder if anyone made sure his chip was actually removed. Clear. 
This is for you. Menace one five, you're near the target position. Get some. Öppna dörren och bara frakta dem. I'm going. They're bringing in reinforcements. Menace 15, be advised, we've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Status confirmed. X4 charges detonating. Yeah, 
skjutkniven i hur ni. You lived in one of the colonies for a few years before linking up to Central, right? Yes, one of the advantages of working with Advent. On the surface, it was very comfortable, but there was a price for that comfort. The millions of people in those cities don't seem to mind all that much. Yes, but Advent is always watching. Between their forces and the aliens themselves, they see everything, not to mention the automated systems. There's nothing quite like providing identification to a lamppost. Five hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one.
On the move. Hostile target down. I'm trusting you here. I'm going to that
Starting to get cooked! Got him! Yes. Might be something Menace we could use here. Status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I've got to hand it to the aliens. The invasion was one thing. All their advanced technology. They had the drop on us for sure. But Advent, there's something we could never have prepared for, even with better gear. Between the propaganda, the handouts, and a seemingly endless supply of reinforcing peacekeepers, they're nothing but trouble for an upstart resistance movement. I wish we had a simulator for Bradford to practice on. If he crashes this ship, I might just hand him over to Advent myself. Commander, we're making progress piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling hate. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new sequence now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. I think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. Forget the data. It's accessing the power core. Overriding my safety. Increasing power levels to die and sever the connection. There. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The Codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead of it. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. New objective added. Complete the encrypted codex status shadow protein. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. I certainly admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. They face a well-armed, well-trained enemy, and yet they guilty to the cause. Ugh, New objective added. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. It was grenade launcher. Hmm. This fearsome creature, long referred to as a berserker, is clearly a genetic relation to the other muton species we have encountered in the field. For reasons yet unknown, 
This particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage, a thirst for combat, unlike any other creature we've encountered. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them, I admit, I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. It was a mistake. You should have known better. The aliens would never have come here if they wanted peace. As I said, it was a mistake. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with XCOM. Then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. Hey, Commander. 